Welcome to a special presentation of Mystic Miniatrix Forge. I am your host, Shinobi Mystic, and we're going to guide you through the multiverse of Madam Web. So, a couple weeks ago, I was going to go see the Madam Web movie, but unfortunately, after seeing all the negative reviews and things uh, associated with that on the interweb, I rewatched the trailer and critically asked myself, is this a good movie? I looked at the, the acting, the, the, the quality of the choreography, uh, I asked myself a lot of critical questions, and unfortunately I decided not to see the movie at this time. So um, I'm still very interested in the movie. I can't wait to actually see it when it comes out, but I'm also kind of weary about the way Sony and Marvel is ho handling the entire uh, property and, and licenses of the entire uh, franchise at this time. So it made me think of my creative endeavors and you know what? I think I can make a, a, a story that is just as high caliber or just as engaging as anything coming out of Hollywood these days. So I figured let's give it a try. So this is the story I like to call Along Came a Spider and it's uh, my version of Madam Web. So without any kind of red tape and lawyers getting together, think of um, your favorite version of Spider-Man, whether it be Toby, Andrew, or Tom, and you know that could be your main uh, Spider-Man hero creature for the quest, and uh, he's going to go through the uh, blind eternities traverse the realms, the different dimensions, go to alternate realities and experience these different worlds and, and, and see things. We saw a lot of that in the Spider-Verse movies. So I figured, you know, if they can do it, I, I can do it too. So uh, let's give this a try. I'm excited to see what I come up with and let's get started. My dear boy, what? Whoever said that everything was supposed to be perfect? Who said that? I did. Who's there? Who are you? Isn't the real question, who are you? <laughs> What's this? Some phony fortune teller? Phony? What? Ha! You are the phony. How did you know what I was thinking? I know much more than your trivial thoughts, Spider-Man. I'm not Spider-Man. You are a terrible liar. Please, don't waste my time. What? I am not your enemy, Peter Parker. You are. Isn't it strange that with all the power you have, you've hurt so many of those close to you? Your Uncle Ben, Felicia Hardy. Mary Jane. How do you know about them? Come see me and find out. <laughs> My costume. How did it get on me? Good going, Spidey. You walked right into a trap. You are wrong, Mr. Parker. And you know. How do you know who I am? And how do you know so much about me? I want some answers. You will get them. Now, sit down. I'll stand, thanks. It is usually a good idea to have a seat. When your world is about to be turned upside down. Whoa! Huh? You are about to embark on a period of training for a mission I will soon require of you. The only thing I'm embarking on is a trip out of here. Parker, this is one situation you cannot crawl away from. In order to succeed in this mission, you must first overcome the self-pity that threatens to end your career. What do you need me for? You obviously have powers of your own. Powers are nothing. More important is your tendency to question yourself. That is an interesting quality. Tedious, but interesting. <laughs> this is your card. No thanks. I'm not what you'd call a believer. Not so easy, is it? It is telling you that you must believe in me. And you must have the faith of a child. What's that supposed to mean? No, wait! Spider-Man arrives. Madam Web in the distance. 
all of a sudden some mystical energy and more spider people appear. First, Silk. Cindy Moon, another spider person with unique spider powers joining the heroes on their journey through alternate realities. Miles Morales, a young hero with spider powers from another dimension, eager to prove himself and assist in saving the multiverse. Spider Gwen, a spectral incarnation of Gwen Stacy from an alternate reality, possessing unique abilities and aiding Spider-Man in his quest. So this is Spider Gwen or Gwen Stacy. And of course, our hero, Spider-Man, Peter Parker, the chosen one, destined to wield cosmic powers and guide the heroes to the quest to save the Spider-Verse. Here they are summoned by the enigmatic Madame Wib. The guardian of the Web of Fate calls upon the heroes and reveals visions of chaos that threaten the multiverse. Spider-Man, you are needed. Madam Webb? As if this night wasn't strange enough already. The pieces are now fragmented across other dimensions. Dimensions that are strange reflections of our own. A past unlike ours. A present day out of sync. And a distant future which may or may not come to pass. Is that a... cartoon pig? Focus! I require your help. Yours and the help of these three other Spider-Men. The heroes into whose realities the tablet fragments fell. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Other realities? Other me's? Yes, I have explained our dire situation to them. They will be your allies in this quest. But I'm the most charming, right? But before they fall into the wrong hands, or our reality, as well as theirs, will be utterly destroyed. Yeah, right. No pressure or anything. Stepping through the portal, the heroes find themselves in a twisted version of reality. Corrupted Spider-Men, once heroes like yourselves, now stand in your path, driven mad by the dimensional convergence. Each reality they encounter is a twisted reflection of their own, filled with danger and uncertainty. Defeat them and uncover clues about the source of the chaos. In a futuristic cityscape with a spider girl engaged in combat with a menacing Spider-Man robot. Spider-Man. Hold on tight everyone. We're about to embark on a journey through the Spider-Verse. They step through the dimensional portal and arrive. Spider-Gwen. This place, it's like a nightmare version of our world. Stepping through the portal, Silk. Look, over there, it's another spider person fighting some kind of robot monstrosity. There, the heroes can see the spider girl, Mayday Parker, battling the android robotic version of Spider-Man in this twisted reality. Miles steps through the portal. At this time, I'm going to roll the six-sided die to see how many wound markers are on uh, Spider-Girl. She only has five life, so if I roll a five or six, She's basically dead. I rolled a one, so she's actually doing pretty good. Okay, so now this is really the part of the game where I start to use the AOTP mechanic. So now at this time, I'm going to be the Webbed Warriors 
And um, they have this ability called Spider Bond, where at the start of the round, if there's at least one other Web Warrior figure adjacent to Web Warrior, you may choose that, that figure and what, one of the following abilities. Uh, so they get Web Swing, where they get plus one move. Spider Sense, plus one defense. Team Attack, where they can attack an additional time, um, but they have to be adjacent to one another. And then Wall Crawling, may move through all figures and are never attacked when leaving engagement. And they do have an ability called Web Sling, which is instead of attacking, uh, you can target an opponent thing, roll a 20-sided die, roll a 10 or higher. All right, so let's do... Um, Let's, I think it, it doesn't really actually matter because they're going to just get dumped into the water. So let's see, Miles is going to jump into the water, Cindy's going to jump into the water, and Spider Gwen's going to, yeah, one, two, whoosh. Actually, yeah, because she moves through, and I don't know how that works. When you, If you go into water, can you move through your own figures? Or is she going to just have to stop? Uh, I'm going to do this for now, and then I'll find, get some, uh, Get, get some understanding in the future. Yeah, so at NPC round, this thing's just going to advance up to the edge of the water and shoot the lightning down at the heroes. So let's see, they have has an attack. I'm going to use um, hero escape dice for all the enemy figures, and I'll use uh, AOTP dice for all the heroes so I know which one's which. So let's see here. So Scaladar is using Lightning Stinger. Choose up to three figures within five clear sight spaces. Well, that's only... This is one, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Two. All right, let's see how this goes. And then it says make separate attack for each chosen figure. So let's do spider Gwen first. Uh, that's two hits. They got four. Oh my gosh, Spider Gwen. They're getting hit for two. All right, and uh, this is the lightning strike against Silk. One. <laughs> She gets hit for one. And now Miles. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be the webbed warriors again. So yeah, just try to use the, the squad creatures. Um, she's gonna move close. Does that even make sense? I'm gonna have her move there. I'm gonna have hit her move there, and he'll move here. They do have a range, so let's see. Um, plus one move. So team attack. This this figure may make one additional attack. Okay, I'm gonna use web sling. So I'm gonna see if they can do that. So instead of attacking, um, a webbed warrior figure may choose... Okay, so I'll do team attack plus web sling. So a figu the figure may make one additional attack this round. This attack must target a figure adjacent to another web warrior. Oh, they have to be adjacent. Well, then that, that doesn't work. That's why if you read the card, it explains the card. And it's also good to just test the stuff out. Uh, so it still can't be as messed up as the actual Madam Web movie. So Web Sling, instead of attacking, a Web Warrior may choose an opponent. Roll an opponent creature within four clear sight spaces. Uh, roll a 10 or higher. The chosen figure is immobilized. It cannot move or attack until the end of its next turn. Okay, so let's do that. So end of its next turn. All right, 20 side of dying. So I got a two, so it was unable to be webbed. And uh, I'll have that be like Spider-Gwen doing that. 
uh, as this web sling. So she did that instead of attacking. So now I'm gonna just do uh, Cindy, Cindy Silk. So she's gonna roll her three. So that's two. And then, let's see here. And the robot, the robot actually has one defense. Uh, but then he has got elevation because they're in zero, which is lower. So he's got another one. So it was two and he blocked it. So two for two. Um, it's up to Miles. Come on, Miles. So three. So he's got two. And they got one shield and one skull. So the Skaladar, the giant scorpion construct, takes a wound. Now it's the NPC turn. Yeah. It's going to be... Um, you only got a range of one, so it's always about that lightning stinger. So I'm going to try the lightning stinger again. All right, so it says, make a separate attack for each chosen figure. So range seven, attack three. So we're going to start with Spider-Gwen. See if uh, Gwen, Gwen dies. Damn, her freaking destiny, bro. All right, so that's one. One attack, or one hit. And then... She blocked it. Now, Cindy. One. And she got one. I'm wondering if I'm like missing dice or something. Um. But no, this you don't get elevation bonus when you're using kind of like a, an ability attack. So I'm doing this correctly. Um, yeah, you only get that for the normal attack. Now it's a, uh, attacking Miles. Two. Ooh, Miles. One. And then that means Miles takes one. Uh -uh. It's a battle. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm gonna be the uh, the web warriors again. Let's get her out of here. So let's see, one, two, move one, move him one. Yeah. All right. So spider. Oh, so it's actually one, two, three because that's zero. The one for the cardboard plus another one for being up at elevation all right all right that's what it is um but i mean they've got six moves so they got plenty of move all right let's see how this goes so now it's up to the that team let's see here team attack web swing spider sense this figure gets plus one defense for the round so i'm going to do spider sense um, on Spider Gwen because she's almost dead. Uh, that way she gets a plus one defense. I'll just try to remember that. And then uh, let's have, uh, I guess, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna have um, Miles try to do the uh, web sling. Yeah, to see if he can um, like stop the stop the giant robot scorpion from attacking them. Two again. Oh my gosh, this is not good with these rolls. So that's what that's his attack sacrifice. So let's do Cindy's attack. Three. Oh, that's a good attack. Yeah, silk. Alright, and then he rolls one plus one more for ovation. So that was three. He got two shields. Oh no. Uh, sorry, the the, gl the glare in the room and everything. So that um, it's one. 
So he takes two. All right, Spider Gwen. So Gwen Gwen gets three, but plus one for the elevation. She only got one one hit. And Skaladar. So he didn't get anything. So he takes another wound. So that's four life on the construct. Yeah, now he's like, Bruh. All right, so now it's the NPC round. Skaladar. Keep rocking with that. So he, uh, it's going to do its lightning stinger again. Seems like that's what it's all about, so. Shooting that seven, range seven, attack three, up to three figures within five clear sight spaces. Make separate attack for each chosen figure. All right, so let's see here. We're going to do, uh, let's do Miles first. Two. Two for Miles. So Miles gets hit for one. He blocked one, he takes one. Yeah. All right, Cindy. So Cindy attacks. Oh no, he's attacking Cindy. One, so it's one hit. And now Cindy, two, two shields, she blocks. He's good. Spider Gwen. Three. Oh dear. Oh, three. Pop four. Spider Gwen. Here we go. She's getting it. So four, and then she got plus one more for elevation. So that's three. Oh, she get. She gets hit for one. Oh. Spider Gwen is down. Too bad, cause uh, is she. Oh no! I got. I had the plus one on her. I had the plus one. Forgot. Oh, it doesn't matter. She gone. Yeah, because I gave I I forgot because I gave her the plus one for the spider sense. Plus one defense for the round. Alright, that's Skaladar, dude. Unforgiving that robot is. Um Let's see here. So the robot's got four. All right, I think it's time for. I think I think it's time for Spider-Man to help out here. All right, so let's see here. We're gonna go back to. This. All right, Spider-Man. Yeah. So he he watch he's watching his friends trudge across the river, getting struck by lightning. So Spider-Man has swing lines. So it says, uh, instead of normal move, you may move a four, and then he can like swing up and down 40 levels in a single swing but yeah we're gonna do the um and and he really only has a range of one it's only through his ability web that he has a range and um all right so move of four let's see one so it's like one two three let's see one two three four i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna put him right where um, Spider Gwen used to be. So let's see here. So he's swinging. So it's one, two, three, four. All right. And then he's going to. Yeah. So it's got its range. So I'm going to do web. Range four, attack three. Figures roll one less defense dice when defending against Spider Man's web hey, ability let's attack. Play tag. You're but, um, Skaladar only has one defense, so he's not going to roll anything. So let's roll three dice against this robotic mech. Two. So that's two. He can't Just block it. Position. So Spider-Man... I hate to borrow someone else's <laughs> line, but it's clobbering time! Bullseye. Insert special effects and sound effects. There it is. That killed the gigantic robot. Yeah, it was at four life. It just took two wounds. It's total six. It's gone. 
So now, um, gonna be these kind of robots. Uh, they're called Pytax Wardens. They're these weird-looking android things. Um, let's see, Biomechanism. Whenever you defend against an attack, you may roll a shield and put a silver Biomech marker on this army card. Adapt adaptive Mechanism. After moving before attacking, you may remove. No, they got really good defense. <clears throat> they got a shit attack. They only got one, but they got really good defense. So, all right, we'll give that a try. Okay, so they're gonna, they have a move of five. So let's see here, this thing's gonna be like, that's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five. One, I'm not four Spider Man. One, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there we go. Basically, they're like you think of them picking up these giant, like kind of tower shield-looking legs and just you know making this kind of giant barrier. I mean, you think about now, it's like they're the big wall is like you know they're totally stuck there. Okay, so this whole thing. Right. So now, now it becomes a true battle against the Pytax wardens. So it's really, whenever you defend against an attack, okay, and you roll shields, switch Pytax, okay, so after moving and before attacking, you may remove the Biomech marker, and you can switch its power and toughness until end of turn. Ah, uh, that's when it really works. Um, they don't take, and they have mechanical precision, they don't take leaving engagement attacks when moving out of engagement with enemy figures, and um, they they, are, they can't be hit by normal attacks from non-adjacent figures. So when attacked by a non-adjacent figure, he gets plus one defense. So they can't even... But luckily... So it's my squad creature's normal attack they can't get hit with. They always have to be adjacent. So very interesting creatures. Very, you know, I wanted to try to make some kind of weird mechanoid things cyborgs you know they really have like human heads in there they kind of remind me of like i don't know these kind of weird looking robocop heads uh, nested into these bio mechanisms all right so they move let's just do some uh let's just do some fluff rolls all right so the pytax warden's gonna go for an attack let's see so we'll have this one attack spider-man so one nothing this other one attacking spider-man a skull. Spider scum. Alright, he got it. So he got the one shield before I touched it and moved it. This last one's gonna attack Cindy uh, Cindy Silk. But there's gonna be two dice because it has the plus one uh, for it, uh, elevation. So that's one. Alright, come on, Cindy. All right, she got it. Okay, that's the end of it. So now it's uh, back to the player character round. So should I be Spider-Man? Should I be the Web Warriors? Hmm. Problem is you need to be adjacent to be able to attack these guys. Um, let's see here. So wall crawling, Web Warriors, Web Web warrior figures may move through all figures and are never attacked when leaving an engagement. Okay, so wall crawling. So uh, just let's check this out. So at the start of the round, if there's at least one other web warrior figure adjacent to a web warrior figure, you may choose that figure and one of the following abilities for this round. So I'm going to give that to Miles and try to get him uh, up and over. So... He's going to have the wall crawling. Um, let's see here. I was going to say, now, the way I always play the game is that if the miniature or the figure can fit, they can go there. So let's see. That'll be one, two, and then, let's see, three, four. Five. Yeah. Yeah, he, he can go there. I mean, I'll, I'll leave a little bit of space there. Yeah, oh, I moved his slid a little bit. No, but he's small enough, you know, his figure base. That's the thing as the game master. I'm not here to stick it to the players or screw them hardcore. You know, he 
crawled across the side of the wall and then uh, did some kind of crazy, you know, wall side flip and landed. And now he's going to freaking smack, uh, smack these wardens. Um, unfortunately, the wardens have well life, so let's let's see how this goes. So the 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 all right three. So Miles has gone back to three, and uh, I'll have Miles attack the one right next to Cindy. So that's two. All right, and then that was two. Oh, it got all skulls. Nice. <laughs> All right, unfortunately, there's nowhere to put the freaking wounds on this damn guy. I need, feel like I need tweezers or something. All right, so he got... He got hit. Yeah. Now, uh, I'll have Cindy turn and attack the same... Uh, figure and if she actually gets a good roll, she'll be able to kill this guy. Um, it is gonna get plus one for uh, defense dice. Did I roll too many dice? I don't remember. All right, so this is Cindy. Nothing. No, she she whipped it. She whipped. Um, now it's the uh, NPC turn. Oh no, Spider Man! All right, so Spider Man. Um, yeah, all these guys. Okay, so I'm gonna have this one attack Spider Man, this one attack Miles. Yeah, so he's hitting him, him, he's in him, he's hitting her. All right, so this one against Spider Man. So it's just one. So it's one. Spider Man. Spidey Sense. Spider Man's attacked by the opponent figure in at least one. Uh, so skull is rolled. Roll a twenty-sided die. Let's do that. Spider sense. Um, I was gonna say, what is that? That's a fifteen. But I believe I needed a sixteen. One through ten. Roll defense normally. Eleven through twenty takes no damage and may be immediately move using a swing line. Ooh, that's cool. Um, is it cool? Well, I'm just gonna have him. I guess. Yeah, have him go over there. That way I can open up a spot for Cindy so she can try to get the elevation. So now this one was attacking Miles. So let's see here. So this one goes to attack Miles. One. One skull. Miles, here we go. Got it. He got two shields. So he blocked it. And now it's Cindy Silk. Let's see. So it's going to be one plus one more for the elevation. So that was one, one hit. And now Cindy. And she got it two blocks. So she blocked it. Okay. Hmm. So now it's back to the player character round, and I'm gonna be the web warriors. Um. Yeah. Let's see. I'm gonna. Tr oh, they can't. They can't do their spider bond because they're not adjacent to each other. Um. Let's see. Instead of attacking, they choose. Oops. No. I'm, let's get Cindy out of the water. Let's see. One, two. I'm going to Cindy attack the one with the, the couple wounds on it. So let's do that. So that's one. One hit. Two shields. So it blocked it. And now I'll have Miles attack the other one in the back. Two. So he's at he's attacking. Actually, I'll have him attack the same one. Two. And then got three. So nothing happened. Now it's back to the uh, NPC round, and yeah, I'll be the Pytax Wardens. 
So, let's see. That. Hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna have uh, this one try to attack Spider-Man. This one attack Miles, and this one attack uh, Cindy again. Yeah, just do it like that. So, one on Spider-Man. Spider Sense. Two. Nope. So we roll defense normally. He got it, so he's all set. This other one against Miles. One skull. Miles. Two shields, so he's fine. Against Cindy. Shield. So she's also. All right. So that's the NPC round. Now it's back to the uh, the hero characters. Um, I'm gonna be Spider-Man, and I'm just gonna try to punch this thing. Yeah, because I can't use web against these guys because they have they are immune to normal attacks. Oh no, it says normal attacks, but they they. Uh, when attacked by a non-adjacent figure, it gets plus one defense. Like, that's just ridiculous. Alright, so... Okay, so Spider-Man... Yeah, I'm just gonna have him try to punch it. You know, you think about him, like, gr grabbing the two, the two towers, like, rah, trying to pull it apart. Spider-Man's attack. Oh, man, these things are tough. Nothing. And now it's back to the end table to do so. So now it's up to... Um, now it's the uh, Pytax Warden's turn, and they're going to uh, begin their attack. Hmm. So let's see. So uh, this one fighting Spider-Man... Nothing. This one attacking Miles. One. So, two. And then the last one attacking Cindy. Nothing. Now it's back to the player character turn. So I'll be the Web Warriors. And I'm gonna... Um, let's see. I'll try to... Yeah, I'm just gonna just do the attack, just normal attack. Um, let's see. Actually, let's do this wall crawling. No, I can't because I'm not adjacent. Hmm. And if I leave, Cindy will get. She's engaged with like three guys. He's. It, she'll totally die. Okay. Very interesting. I, def I definitely learned something. This is good. All right. So yeah, just Cindy attacking the uh, squad creature here. Let's give it a try. So Cindy, nothing. She totally whiffed that attack. All right, let's try for Miles. Miles attacking the one that he's next to. Two. So that two. And he got one. We got we got to deal with all of these guys. So. Let's put this here. So. Alright, and now that's the end of the player turn, so now it's back to the NPC round. So I'll have this one attack Spider Man. Nothing. I'll have the other one attacking Miles. Nothing. And the last one attacking Cindy. Nothing. Crazy. All right, back to the spider team. The webbed warriors. Um, yeah, I'll be Cindy doing the attack. So two. Two on the one with the damage on it. So two. So she got, she got it for one. She hit it for one. I'm gonna have Miles attack the same one, see if we can kill that one. Miles, ready for action. 
One. And he got it. Blocked. One. That's the end of that turn, so now it's the NPC round. Uh, I'll have all the NPCs attack their targets, so... Here we go. This is the first one against Spider-Man. Whiff. The second one against Miles. Skull. Two shields, so Miles blocks that. And then the last one, Cindy. A skull. Two shields, so that's blocked successfully. Let's see. I think this... All right. Hmm. Let's see. All right. Hmm. So that's the NPC. That's the NPCs ha attacking them. So let's do the. Yeah, let's do the the web warriors. So back to the player characters. Be the web warriors. Just keep moving on the combat. Uh, we all fancy combat. So Cindy attacking the. So Cindy gets ready to attack. Nothing. It was all three shields. Uh, Miles attacking the one with the damage. See if we can get rid of that one. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. <laughs> it's almost as bad as the Spike movie. Um, Alright, so gigantic tower things. Totally blocking us in this crazy futuristic world. Um... Yeah, it's back to the Wardens. So, let's see. One against Spider-Man. I got a, um, a nine. So, it's going to be block as normal. He blocked it. The next one attacking Miles. One. Oop! Oh, spilling the dice. Miles. One, he blocked it. And then Cindy. Nothing. Alright, so now it's back to the Web Warriors. So let's have Cindy attack that one with the line with the So this this figure versus this figure. Two. Oh, two exactly. So two shield. And now Miles attacking the one with the damage. It works. Okay. So Miles, he goes to attack that thing. Two hits. And, uh. Yes! System. Failure. Falls into the river. Sinks the Nice miles. Freaking sick. Alright. Uh, now it's back to the NPC round. Uh, this one attacks Spider Man. Shield. The other one attacking Miles. Nope, that's it. Alright. Um, I'm gonna be Spider Man. Let's let's punch this one. Spider-Man. So two. Two swords. So Spider-Man attacking that one. So it was two. Nothing. Oh. Sick. That one gets hit for two. Chaos. Chaos in this futuristic world. Hold on to your hats. Alright, now it's the NPC round. This one attacking Spider-Man. Nothing. This one attacking Miles. Nothing. It's a shield. Let's see, we're gonna do the Spider-Team. Miles will attack this one, and Cindy will attack that one. Miles first. Two. So it takes one. So that it took an, its second life. 
And now Cindy. Three. Ooh, ooh that's a good champ. Here we go. Yeah. Critical. Meltdown. All right. Destroyed. All right, the final robot attacking Spider-Man. Spider-Sense kicking in. Whoa! Eight. So that's, uh... Because it's one through ten. Yeah. Uh, roll defense type as normal. One. He blocked it. Yeah, Spider-Man. He is the amazing Spider-Man. Or spectacular Spider-Man. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. All right. So there it is. Um, all right. So now Spider-Man. Let's do my, I'm going to be the spider team. We're going to get these guys back to uh, next to each other. Uh, it does say at the start of the round, if there's at least one other webbed warrior figure adjacent to a web warrior figure, you may choose that figure and one of the following abilities for this round. But they weren't, not at the start of the round. They, he had to move to get adjacent, so that's not going to work. Um, let's do... Let's just punch him. Yeah. Try to tear the... Hit, like, open this thing. Like, I can't open it. Alright, Miles first. Yeah! One. One with Miles. Oh, Miles got it! Come on, team! All right, Cindy Silk. One. None. System failure. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. All right, so let's see here. All right. Um, so that's when Silk says, look over there. It's another spider person fighting some kind of robot monstrosity. So they they both turn. They can see Mayday Parker fighting the, um, fighting the Spider-Man android. And the android really is a construct. I mean, he's, you know, he's got spider sensors, multi-appendage deployment, rocket launchers, um, I mean, you know, he, it looks like Spider-Man, uh, miniature, but it, it's really a, a robotic version. You, you, you know, from afar, you can really tell that this thing's got mechanical arms. I mean, you think about if Iron Spider looks anything like a robot, this thing looks even more robotic than that. So the, the let's, uh, let's go to, uh, the Spider-Man Android co combat with Mayday Parker. Um, so the, the robot is really adjacent with May, uh, Mayday Parker, so, uh, we're gonna do the, the android's, uh, attack, so let's, let's see how she goes. So this thing, oh crap, dude. Target acquired. Four skulls. So she's, um, she's looking at four hits coming her way. Let's see, acrobatic, so it rolls an additional attack die and defense die when engaged in combat with a figure on a height higher than her own. And no, no acrobatic. Okay, so uh, when attacked by a figure adjacent to her, roll a 20 side die, 15 or higher, uh, the attack is negated. Subtract one from this roll for each wound marker on her card. And she already has one wound, so we're gonna roll and uh, we need a I guess a 14 or higher. Yeah, because it says subtract one from this roll. Oh, subtract one from my roll result. So, okay, so my roll is 10, but it's then really nine, but I needed a 15 or higher. So her, her version of the spider sense uh, doesn't, doesn't work. 
Oh, see, she has spider sense, but Spidey Man has Spider Man has Spidey sense. It's similar, but it's different. A lot of uh, a lot of spider spider stuff going together here. Um, I've also never actually play tested any of these cards. They're all theoretical, and uh, now it's time to get practical with uh, what, what I was trying to accomplish here. All right, so she uh, attempted for spider spider sense, but. Didn't get it, so now we've got to roll defense dice like normal, and we got four hits coming her way, and um, if she already has took one damage, she has four life remaining, so if she rolls poorly, she is dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! The humanity! <laughs> so yeah, uh, you know, Silk says, look over there, it's another spider person fighting some kind of robot monstrosity. And immediately, she gets stabbed with some kind of robotic appendage. The thing just locks on, and yeah, the the multi-appendage deployment. Four hits, and yeah, she's gone. Ah, help me, spider team. <laughs> Spider-Man's like, no! You son of a bitch! So, um... The multiverse is not a kind place. Uh, as, uh, as our spider team has come to find out. It's actually a terrible and... Cr crazy absolute place. So, this this is absolutely wild. So, uh... There, there it is. So now it's time to stop this other spider menace. So that was, um... That was the... That spider... The androids attack, so now it's the spider team. Mm -hmm. So Team Spider, so uh, what, are we, what are we gonna do, you guys? So let's see here. So they have a range of four, so let's see here. So if he's here, which is directly here, it'd be at one, two, three, four. So yeah, they're only really gonna move up one, so let's let's get Miles there. Ready, ready for, ready in position. Silk, Silk, she's moving in. All right, so it's one, two, three. War. Yeah, because these are awesome hero escape. I mean, the, the thing is made for hero escape. It, it's got hexes on it, so I, mean, I didn't maybe necessarily align it directly to the grid, but you could tell he's directly underneath that one. That's one, two, three. So that's four site spaces away. One, two, yeah, four. They can directly see that. Things up there power powering up. Target. Yeah, it's like. You know, it's like, oh, target, you know, target neutralized. Now the thing's like spinning around and turns towards them. And they're like, you know, it's like it's it's searching through its data banks for like what they are, what they, you know, scanning, scanning. All right. So now uh, the web warriors. So let's do this. Um, so at the beginning of the term, they were adjacent to each other. So we're going to do team attack. Uh, this figure may make one additional attack. Oh, but no, it's always... That thing must be target adjacent to another web warrior. Yeah, all I can do is plus one move, plus one defense. So just give him spider sense, but let's do one. So, um, let's see. I'll have Miles do his web sling. So let's do, um, instead of attacking, roll a 20-sided die. Ten or higher, the chosen figure is immobilized and cannot move or attack until the end of its next turn. So let's try to shut down this robot. All right, Miles, use your electricity. Let's go. Oh, freaking four. So that sacrificed his attack for a, a crappy 20 die side roll. So now uh, it's up to Silk. So Silk's attack three, range four. One, yeah, one pathetic hit. Alright, so now the uh, Spider-Man Android, uh, so it's got four defense, uh, plus one more, let's see now, now this thing has spider sensors, once per round when Spider-Man Android is attacked by a normal attack, which that's what it is, he gets to roll, Android gets to roll the 20 sided die, spider sensors, ah, dude, 20, G Things too quick within milliseconds, it sees the attack. 
understands what it needs to do. 16 or higher takes no damage and may immediately move up to three spaces. And it has like cable swing, so it can move through all figures and is never attacked when leaving an engagement. So it's gonna move three. Uh, should it move? Should it move? Yeah, let's get let's get nice and intimate. Yeah, let's get intimate. So it's like see like one, two, three. So it's like whoosh, like tractor beam, whoosh, cable. Whoosh. Yeah. So that's them attacking it. That was its response to doing that. So now it's like this thing's turn. Multi appendage deployment can deploy an extra mechanical appendage, granting him plus two attack and allowing him to attack up to two additional figures in his attack range. This second attack must target a different figure. These appendages can also be used to block for one attack per round, giving Spider-Man Android plus one defense. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho, ho. Plus two. Oh my god, what was I thinking? Um it's gonna be terrible. It's gonna this is terrifying. So five, so it gets plus one more, so it's sick. Um yeah, he's coming after he's coming after the, the web warriors, dude. So yeah. Um I'm like, yeah, because if if, it, if I attack Spider-Man and and Spider-Man gets one bad, you know, attack, then that sucks. What should, what should the Spider-Man Android do? All right, he's coming after Miles. You know, Miles trying to like trick me. Oh, yeah. All right, he's attacking Miles first with the multi multi deployment. He's one, two, three, four, four freaking hits, dude. That's four. So four. Oh, Miles. Oh, Miles. That kills Miles. Multi deployment. Now he's attacking Cindy. Spider Man's gonna be like, no, my friends. <laughs> oh my god, another four. <laughs> the knee. Oh. So it's four, but she takes two, and she only has three life. Oh no, Silk. There it is. The spider team has fallen. So now it's Spider-Man against Android Spider-Man. Clean up. End of the turn. Let's clean that up. That's the end of the Web Warriors. The multiverse is a dangerous place. Alright, so now Spider-Man versus Android Spider. Damn, dude. Whew. All right, let's see here. Here it goes. Um, hmm. Spider-Man, what are you gonna do, Spidey? Spider-Man doesn't have any, he hasn't taken any wounds. This thing is this thing is crazy. It's got like rocket launchers and stuff. Ooh. Oh my god. What did I do here? This card is just freaking nasty. <laughs> Alright, Spider-Man. Time for vengeance. I kind of feel like I need to change the music. Like it's kind of like boss battle time music or something. Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> it's, Sp it's Spider-Man's turn. Yeah. Right, let's see if we get some different music. Yeah. 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 
There we go. All right, Spider Man, let's go. Two. Two. So that's one, so it takes one. Um, all right. I just throwing dice at each other. Now it's the androids' turn. The four. So one. Oh, I forgot the sensor thing. It's all right. Do it later. So three. So roll regular. Blocked it. So that was Spider Man blocking. So now it's Spider Man's attack. Two. So two for two for Spider Man attack. Uh, let's do the sensors. Spider sensors, sixteen or higher. No, nope, it's eleven. So normal. So it takes uh, one. Juju, you're doing it, Spider Man. All right, Android. Android attack. Two. Who is Spider Man? Spider Man's defense. Um, I mean Spider Sense. Five, so regular. And it was two, so Spider Man takes one. We now have a battle damaged. Spider Man ripped. Spider suit cracked. I. Alright. So now it's Spider Man's turn to attack. Two. So that's two. To the android. Spider sensors. Fifteen. And it has to be a sixteen. Yeah, that was bad. It got the two shields it needed. Things fast. Alright. Now it's gonna attack Spider-Man. So this thing. Rah. Let's uh yeah, let's see. Yeah, no, just keep it there. Keep it there. So picturesque. Pointing at each other. Oh my god. Three. Three to Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man rolls for his spider sense. It's a 15, so it's not to jump out of the way. He got the three shields he needed to block that assault. Spider-Man with a re retaliating blow. Three, so three back. Spider sensors. 15. So, two, it takes one. So, the uh, Spider-Man androids three damage, and Spider-Man has one damage. So now the retaliating attack on the robot, two. Spider-Sense, oh, 20. So, it negates the attack, and he can move. Let's actually do this. Let's move Spider-Man. And he's going to do a move of four. One, two. Yeah. And he can still one, two, three. So now it's Spider-Man's turn. So let's check that. So Spider-Man uh, just, yeah, he Spider-Sense had triggered, he jumped out of the way. Now he's going to do his web, Ra attack three, range four, roll one less defense dice against that. And um, let's do it. Let's see how it goes. 
Yeah, because it's, yeah, one, two, three. He got one. None. So he hit it. All right, you know what? The, the, so he's going to do uh, his ability that he can only do once per game. And it's Rocket Launcher. So range 8, attack 6, once per game, Spider-Man Android can use its Rocket Launcher to make a ranged attack with a range of 8. Choose a target figure and roll 6 attack dice. If you roll a 3 or higher, the target receives 1 unblockable wound with this attack. So you actually have the potential to do like Seven. This could kill Spider-Man. Um, if he rolls bad. After using the rocket launcher, Spider-Man Android cannot use this ability for the rest of the game. Alright. Time to be a sadistic bastard. So yeah, Spider-Man, you know, he... Spider-Sense jumped out of the way. Now he's up on here. He just, you know, shut down his web blast. And then the, the robot, you know, oh, compartment the spider emblem on his chest opens up. And a little rocket head pops out. And here comes the rocket. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that means that's that one unblockable wound automatically happens. So that's the second damage that Spider-Man's going to take. Um, and then he's got four on there. So now Spider-Man's going to roll for Spider-Sense. Four, so it's roll defense dice like normal, and then plus one more for the elevation button. Um, if I if if, if Spider-Man doesn't get this, he is dead, and that will conclude the game session at this time. Oh no! Okay. Oh, that was that was uh that was that. So he only got one shield, so it was so it's, it was the four attacks. He already took the unblockable wound, so that was the two damage. These negate, so he already has two damage, so he takes three wounds. Well, guess what? <laughs> he only had three life left, so that boom. That kills Spider-Man. Oh no! I should actually technically give the chance for like Madam Web to show up and do some magic or Madam Web fights the android. Oh no, I think just like in the box office, this uh, this adventure bombs as well. Oh so, no! So yeah, I don't, I don't think I'm gonna have Madam Web fight. I, I could do that, but this... The video is already getting long enough, and you know, it's a, it's a good play test. I wanted to really test this out. Um, there were actually three alternate realities that I was going to have Spider-Man and the team go to. So uh, let's let's talk about those uh, at this time. So um, key plot points: Madam Web summons Spider-Man, uh, Gwen, and Mor uh, Miles Morales to a mystic realm. They journey across the reality. Um, so fighting the various versions and, uh, the different versions were going to be, so the first one was the Spider-Man Android. The second alternate reality was going to be the, um, advanced symbiotes, uh, with agent venom. And, um, that's where they were going to find spider woman, Julia Carpenter and, uh, she venom. And then in the alternate reality three, I was going to have the, like a blue suit Spider-Man. Cause I've got this one from like the fantastic four. And um, future Foundation uh, Spider-Man, and that's where they were gonna find uh, the spider, another Spider Girl, Anya Corazon. And um, if the players got through all that, the final boss was gonna be Spider-Man 2099, uh, Reality Smasher. And um, you know, I, I developed different maps, so you know, you you traverse the different realities, change the map out, let, you know, blast them down. And then the, the final map was going to be using the projector layer and this really cool space cosmic uh, battle. But yeah, they, that's the thing. So yeah, they they journey through, they unravel the mystery as they tra travel, they uncover clues about the true nature of the convergence and its source of chaos. 
And then um, Redemption and Sacrifice. Spider-Man 2099's motives are revealed. Uh, they're more complex than initially thought. And through the power of empathy and understanding, the heroes attempt to sway him from his path of destruction. In a climatic battle where sacrifices must be made to restore the balance of the multiverse. And if that was successful, I was going to have um, Spider-Man, who currently is, uh, is the status of a hero creature, um, he would then become a planeswalker. And uh, because this game has uh, planeswalkers in it, he would uh, get some kind of cosmic powers. Since, you know, Madam Web does call him the chosen one. You've been chosen for a quest. And... Um, that's that's how my version of Madam Web would conclude. So I appreciate you all watching today. Uh, thanks for joining in. This was actually uh, probably a better use of my time than going to the movies and sitting there watching whatever kind of junk they're coming out with at, uh, in, in the movies nowadays. So um, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. I hope you had a blast watching. And uh, yeah. I, uh, I truly appreciate it. So thanks again.